uh, under normal circumstances, I would not be in Burlington today. I would be probably in another state where a primary is coming up. This pandemic has impacted every aspect of our lives and every aspect of this campaign. The coronavirus has completely upended campaigning as we know it. We've seen the major presidential candidates like Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden um, essentially suspend their IRL in real life in-person campaigns. That means no more public rallies, no handshaking, no kissing babies, but uh, a transition to virtual town halls, virtual fundraisers, and uh, a lot of online engagement. Some campaigns are better equipped for this than others right now. You know, the Bernie Sanders campaign has been a very online organization, a robust online following. So the transition, um, aside from, you know, Senator Sanders calling off his thousand person rallies, hasn't been as uh, challenging in order to reach those voters, persuade them, get in touch with them, contact them. We are in an unprecedented uh, moment in American and world history. I have never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, we have moved to a completely remote uh, operation. Uh, we don't have offices because we've deemed them to be a public health risk for our own staff. So Biden's campaign is definitely going to have to build up a, an online infrastructure um, more than I think the Sanders campaign and other campaigns. Um, and it seems like, you know, that they've decided to take a pause in order to build that out. You know, we saw his campaign, I think, um, postpone or cancel an online town hall that they were supposed to do uh, the other day. And last week they had a pretty glitchy town hall. Deal with endangered species. And one of the things I would like to raise is that we have to deal with this on an international basis as well. Because right now, for example, we have a thing, you know, Brazil... Okay. Am I ready to go? It remains to be seen, but if there if there is any time um, that is made for this moment, it is now, you know, so much of our population already lives online. And so a lot of these campaigns that don't already have these online um, organizations, they are best practices that probably should be implemented either way. Um, the Trump Organization has a well-documented, robust camp online infrastructure that they've really been able to successfully use to um, mobilize and organize, you know, what they call their Trump army, people around the country, um, teaching them how to do trainings online, how to use certain voter apps. Um, in this day and age, uh, it's important for, the camp for campaigns to understand and adapt to modern life, you know, and I think right now is a really, it's, it's a good time for these candidates to take advantage of having people in front of their screens nonstop at home.